What is up people? Um, today I'm going to be teaching you how to sync your clips with a chosen song of your choice. Um, just a couple of neat effects that you can use in your videos just to make it look a bit nicer. I use them in secrets if you ever watch that and a lot of my montages so yeah. First what you want to do, make a project. I've, I've moved the windows around just so it's a lot easier for me to use. File, import, files. I've got montage clips right here. Uh, let's go on to skate through clips two. Actually, skate through clips one because I still have to make my. Hmm. Which one? I think I'll use. Actually, I might use a model for two clip. Hide. No. Uh, randoms. No. All hands. Double C4. 360B50. Two doubles. Hi right, guys, chosen a clip. Uh, sorry about that, took quite a while. This is important. Right, well, first see what we want to do. Drag it into the timeline. Uh, render the audio and f find where the clip starts because with skate 3 it, like, you have to press start when you're filming so find where it starts, cut it and find where it ends just about there, just around there okay so then you want to choose your song by the way this is, this is the trick it's pretty damn sexy of course so. Alright, then you want to choose a song, so let's go on to iTunes. Actually, I'll find a song for you right now, so hang on a sec, guys. Alright, guys, I found my song. Uh, Ron Junkies guitar sound. Sounds pretty good. We'll fit the skate through clip. So now, just drag it in, and you now have the song. So, this song's pretty long, so just make the timeline a bit bigger. Cut out where you think you're going to be editing. What you think you're going to be editing with. So I think around, just so you have a bit to work with. You always want way more than you need. Right, now, this is where it gets interesting. I haven't scripted this, so I'm just going to do it how I would normally do it. Okay, so, what I would first do is find where I land the trick. So about there. Um, cut it with B. And then cut the song where it, where it hits the beat, so it's all nice and synced. Highlight both these, and with the snapping tool on, you'll see it snaps right into place. You don't even need the you don't even need the uh bro the scroller there. You can just snap it. So from there, it'll just snap into place. And so you see, it's already looking pretty good if you want to sync it. Um, but I don't want to stop there, I want to go a bit further. So, what I will usually do from here is I will take this clip, slow it down to about 50%, maybe 60, because 560? Okay, woo. Yeah, that will happen. Alright, so. Okay, we're still with that. Uh, render that. Yeah, don't change it to 560 because that will just like overdo everything. Already, pretty good. I mean, I'm head bobbing a bit, you know. But okay, now what we want to do is personally, I like to take the audio off, but uh, most people will keep it on. Okay, then you fade in. This is like I had to just sync from the start, by the way. You fade it in when it hits. Da -da -da. Then, um, well, okay, once you've done the slow motion for the first bit, the fade in, and then you've synced up the landing, or the shots if you're doing one over two or black ops. You want to find where the next beat comes in, like a beat generous. Like around there is when I should stop it. Cut it there, and when the beat comes in. Stop, see? See? Oh, that is so clever. 
Okay, this is obviously quite long, so this is what we're excited for. Time to put it down. Now, uh, to pump things up a bit, or to make things just look way better, uh, what you want to do is also obviously get some colour correction going on all up in here. Colour corrector. Now you can just slap this onto the same clip because you're only editing one clip. Well, that's a bit purple. Uh, colour corrector. Why is that purple a bit? You, you, Why is that purple? Okay, Jack, not right now. Okay, so because oh my god. Okay, so right now, um, as you see, what when I put it in, it was a bit purple. Oh, it's a bit purple. Just anyway. Is that me or is that very purple? Into the cell, just to get the colour correct to go on. That is quite purple, isn't it? Right then. Um, okay, let's just edit with this clip. Anyway, it doesn't matter because the colour correct will fix that anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So, okay. So with this clip, you want to turn the saturation way down, and the black oh, saturation way down, the blacks way well, not way down, the the mids way up, and the whites way down. Actually, not way down, not way up either. Just leave leave the whites. That's way too dark. But the black's up, but saturation still want to keep it down. Render. Sugar. Pretty hardcore gangsterific. Right. So you've got this. Looking good, looking smacker. Okay. Now, what I usually do to sync up the landing with the music is. Uh, click on the clip, uh, put a marker where I land it. So now there's a marker there, one, two, three, three frames. And then get the clip, rotate it a bit, make it a bit bigger, render that, and watch it. Awesome. I have to say it's a pretty good. And now for the final the final push for this uh, clip. You want to click this clip, go onto the colour corrector of the second clip. And remember this the thing this tutorial I gave you last time? Where you change all the blacks and mids and stuff? Yeah, you want to do that with this one. You see? That's just looking at this makes up. But I'm not a nub sack, so I'm going to add a bit more to it. Let's just save this. And we shall go into part two of advanced editing. It's in less than five minutes, so let's get, let's get cracking. Okay, so you've got the clip. A bit darker at the beginning, fades in. Bang, it's that in the middle. Okay. With this song, you can hear a bit of a guitar riff thing. I don't know what you'd call it. Right there. Now. This is where it gets interesting. Make it relatively small. Drag it over a bit for it make it a bit smaller. Now, you see? Okay, just just hear me out. You want to put you want to put a little um, fade darkening thing. Whenever you hear the jigger jigger. See? Okay, so you press P for the, or you can just click that for the uh, pen tool. Click, 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 and then click. And then you've got another one here, so you click, and then click, and then click, drag it down. Got another one here, click, 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 drag it down. Got another one here, click, 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 and then drag it down. Render that bollocks out, and this is what it should, hopefully this will work. Boom. Okay, that looks really bad. 
you want to maybe add one here, one in the middle there, and maybe one there. I don't know, this is not going very well. Render that. Hopefully this will look better. Whoa, that's just epileptic. Ah, I see what's going on. I see what's wrong. I see exactly what's wrong. Captain, I see what's wrong, Captain. Did you see where I'm going with this? You catch my drift? We should. Now it won't look so epileptic fitty as. It's going well, it's going well. I'm going to edit it completely, uh, just to get it to how I would usually have it to a montage. <coughs> I'll, I'll talk to you guys after when I do it. It's done, everything's complete, and this is what I would leave it as a montage. So, a good introduction, like, Two Bigs Presents, Sex Poop. And then I'll edit exactly, well not exactly the same, but similar to that for the next clip, the next clip, and then for like the next 10 clips until the montage finishes. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. Hope this helps. If you want any more information on how to do this, um, just message me and I might make you a video for it. Um, so yeah. Thanks for watching guys. Hope this helps. And yeah, I'll see you later. Bye.